Hello everyone, this is my very first video in English. I hope I'm going to be up to it. N'hésitez pas à afficher les sous-titres autogérés si vous en avez besoin. I'm Emily, I'm a French teacher. My students have between two and four years old this year. And today I'd like to pay a tribute to all my Anglo-Saxon teachers that I've had growing up because I think they really inspired the teacher that I am today. I lived in the States when I was a child from six to nine years old. When I arrived in the US, I didn't speak a word of English. And then when we moved back in France when I was nine, I was in a bilingual school, but all my teachers were British. And it was a whole new language altogether that I had to learn because nobody understood me and I understood no one. There's something incredible that all those teachers, American, British, Irish, Australian, taught me is that I was special and that I could make it. I truly, believed in myself because each time I was in one of those classes, I felt like I belonged. The first times my parents read what the teachers had to say about me, even when I was very young, were things like, good job, well done, keep the good work. <laughs> things like that, that make you feel like you're able to do stuff. And it might seem insignificant to point this out, but it changes everything in France for a reason I really don't understand, the first thing we do is point out what's wrong, what needs to be improved. Teachers will write things like, you could do better, you could improve this, should participate more, and they very rarely point out what you do well. When a teacher grades a dictation in France, she or he is going to circle in red all your mistakes. And you start with a 20 out of 20, but each mistake you make will take you a point down. So it's very rare to have a very good grade <laughs> in a dictation in France. And when I was young, I'd, I'd go below zero. Imagine that. The impact on your self-esteem when you get a minus 25 because you forgot an accent here, a capital letter there. <laughs> What I really like and what I copy from the Anglo-Saxon world is that you guys point out what's good. <laughs> and it makes us feel so much safer as a child or as, as a student when you know that you can rely on things that you do well. I imagine that if instead of a minus 25, I'd gotten well done, you have five correct words in your dictation. And then the next time, well done, you've got seven or eight. Eight. <laughs> when I teach, obviously, what stands out from uh, what a child is going to say or write or do is probably what he doesn't know yet, what he hasn't understood. But if that's the first thing that I point out to him or her, there's a big chance that the child is going to hide back into his shell and not want to try anymore. When I get criticized, sometimes it makes me feel really down. I feel stupid. It can even make me angry, especially if I've worked hard. On the other hand, if somebody tells me what I'm doing right, well, maybe that's going to make me want to listen a bit more and maybe take some advice. Look, you've done this right. This is good. Well done. This is what is expected from you. Now, from here, I'm going to take you there. That's what a teacher should do. Show people what they're good at so that they can use that to go further instead of telling them, uh, this is wrong. This is not working. You shouldn't be doing this. In France, we have a saying, ça va de soi, mais ça va mieux en dix ans. Meaning, okay, maybe something is obvious, but still, it's better to say it out loud, even if it's obvious, because it's always good to hear it. I really feel that most of my teachers that taught me in English, biology, history, maths, whatever, profoundly wanted each of us children to be a better version of ourselves. Whereas a lot of French teachers gave us the feeling that we needed to adjust ourselves to fit in. Don't be too loud. Don't be too witty. Don't try to be too special. It's pretentious. That's what we hear in France. Who do you think you are? That's so vain. You know, be quiet. Don't try to stand out. Whereas with my English teachers, I really felt that I could be proud of myself, that I needed to love myself. And what a beautiful message. When I prepared this video, I typed on my computer, when you enter this classroom poster. And I had 
hundreds of different examples of teachers that, you know, post posters in front of their classroom telling their pupils how respected and loved they are. Then I did the same thing in French, poster quand tu entres dans cette classe, and I got almost zero hits. The posters that came up in French were be polite, stay calm, don't be messy. <laughs> A lot of things that you have to do to fit in, but never things on how you should feel. If you want to belong, do this, be like this. And what I want to hear and what I want my students to hear is you belong and if you want to be happy, do this. Whoever you are, you belong, you're worthy, you're the reason why I'm here to teach you. Be proud, be yourself, be unique. What do I prefer as a child to read when I come in? I'm unique, I'm loved, I'm friends, and I'm all those amazing things. I'm important. Yes, I'm a thinker and I'm respected and I am loved. Smart, unique, brave, strong. Of course, I'm all of this. All the kids are. We all are capable of amazing things. All of us. La vie dans la classe, life in the classroom. We're polite, we say thank you, we raise our hand to speak, we keep our eyes open and we listen, we do the best we can, we don't shout, <laughs> and we make little noise. Okay, so that's everything I should be doing to belong. But what about how I feel? What about who I am? It's never mentioned. In France, it's like it doesn't even exist. Feelings are out of the question. I don't get it. It's so important. And even the posters in French that sound positive aren't. Look at this one. You're allowed not to know. Oh, good thing. <laughs> But it would be stupid not to try. What does the negative word stupid have to do in a poster that's supposed to make me feel good about myself? I do not get it. What about who I am? We don't mention that in France. I was talking before about mistakes. Now look at this poster. Thank God mistakes are expected. That's something we don't say in France either. It's the only way to learn. Make mistakes, understand your mistakes, and then improve. You know, that's how we learn. Because if something doesn't work, we have to think about what we have to change to make it work. And yes, they're respected. Mistakes are respected. Of course they should be. In France, the tendency is more to put a red mark next to the mistakes and make you feel bad about them. How weird. So where do I stand between France and the Anglo-Saxon system? Well, I guess the way I grew up sticks with me and I'm totally persuaded that all my students matter. They are all important and they are all loved. And yes, everybody has a voice and everyone has value. And I thank all the teachers that made me believe in myself, that helped me see my values, and at times made me feel smart. It's the best feeling. Thanks for watching. Bye.